There are occasions where you have double letter appearings. What happens then? Well, it does it correctly. A, A, B, B, C, C. They are assigned appropriately. Let us proceed. Well, I thought I prepared it, so let me uh, type in. the word access. Access. All right, it was signed appropriately. However, as I mentioned before, there are various areas in the country where signs may be signed differently. It might so happen that somebody needs verification on the sign. They sign an interpreter enables you to force a finger spelling of any word you want. So I'm going to position the cursor on the word, do a right click, and here I'm going to force the finger spelling. It is now underlined to let you know that it will finger spell it and Access. properly finger spelled. The Scientel interpreter can, of course, be used for emergency situations as well. If there is a situation that can be predicted ahead of time and material can be prepared and drag and dropped into the Scientel interpreter, it will be signed for everybody to see. Uh, otherwise, something can be typed or spoken and immediately the signing of it would appear. For example, uh, let's take uh, the case here. And listen, everyone, leave immediately. Shelter in basement. Or something else. Urgent all employees and classes close immediately. All windows to poisonous air outside. This way, one doesn't have to go look for an interpreter or do anything else. It's either prepared, drag and dropped, or typed or spoken, and the alert is there. We have seen that you can drag and drop a document into the Santel interpreter and see it in sign language. However, the Santel interpreter can do much more than that. It can translate into sign language material from the internet, it can translate an email into sign language or translate into sign language a document that is being typed in, uh, for example, Word uh, or a letter that is being prepared. I will demonstrate it by showing you that we don't even have to have the Santel interpreter on to do that. I'm going to click off uh, everything on the screen right now including the Santel interpreter, take a document that was pre-prepared so that I don't have to type it now. What I will be doing is highlighting the document, click on a combination of keys, and the window will pop up with Maureen signing the material that is uh, typed. Uh, in the document. At some point, while she signs, I will close off the document, enlarge the screen, so you will see her signing in full screen. Okay, what I'm going to do now is highlight the document, press the combination control Insert home. I want give credit all deaf who worked so hard on this product. Power success proof that deaf best people build products for deaf. We excited 
build and develop next generation of accessibility technology. The Scientific Interpreter also enables you to have control over the various features in the settings. Let us go to the toolbox right here at the sign of the wrench. And as you notice, right on the upper left side we have you. What is checked is the dictionary box and the text box. Sure enough, both are seen. I will check off the dictionary, dictionary box and we don't have it anymore. I'll go back, check off the text box, and it's gone. I will reinstate either one or both at the same time. I'll reinstate the dictionary box. It's there. I'll reinstate the text box. It's back on, it's back on, and of course I could have reinstated both at the same time. Let me go back to the settings, and as you can see, I have spelling right below there. Background and automatically correcting. When you have a word that is misspelled, it appears in red. Since it's checked, it is functioning right now, and I will purposefully misspell the word hello and put in three L's. And as you notice, it's now in red color, telling me it's wrong. However, it enables me to do more than that because I can position the cursor there, do a right click, and I can find out how to spell it correctly. Is it spelled correctly? Does Maureen recognize it? Hello. Yes. Okay. I will now go back to the settings here show you that I have font sizes. I can go from 24 to down to reduce the size. Everybody likes a different font size. You can adjust it to your own desire. Of course you have the uh, default setting so you can save it and just go there and have it activated. On the right hand side you have special features. You have highlighting current words. We have seen that in green when it's being signed. You show letters and numbers. Sign auxiliary is not checked. As you recall we checked it out so that it's not uh, signed as is appropriate in ASL. Translating idioms is checked, so the idioms are being translated appropriately, and we saw that. Text to speech, we can hear the text. Speech recognition, which we have seen as well. Setup of text to speech and speech recognition setup is there as well. One other important feature is an on screen support if you have a question it's the help we click on it and we can go and find out and read whatever is necessary the Santelli interpreter also comes with a quick reference guide and a user's manual Here you have on the screen a quick reference guide and you can go through it and whatever you need you can find there. Also, you have a manual, a Centel Interpreter manual. You can go through the various subjects and also find all your needs right there. We'll move now to the speech recognition portion of the demonstration. First thing, I'll show how to set up the microphone for the speech recognition portion. To activate the settings, I will click once on the image of the wrench at the upper left hand side. A window pops up, which is the settings window. On the right hand side, you can see a long bar 
that says speech recognition setup. I'll click on it once. A window pops up. It has my name here highlighted. I can of course select another name by clicking on the bar. There are a few names here. I can keep my name or I can add a user. Let's see how it's done. I'll click on add user. It enables me to put another user in. I'll key in a name tester. Say OK. Now I'm in and I can move on to the audio wizard. I will click on the right hand side on the audio wizard. A window comes up that welcomes me. I go to next and I will select the key on the right hand side that says advanced. I will now check the recording device here on the upper left side. It brings up a window that tells me to select the proper microphone that I'm using. Uh, then I will click here since I'm using the USB headset. This is the one I will choose. But it's not lined in. I'd like to make sure it's the microphone. I click the microphone and I'm ready to move on. On the left hand side I see recording settings. I will click the recording settings and the next thing I will do is go on the right hand side to the image in the bar that says microphone and click on it. Now as I talk you can see that the level of the recording volume shows up and I can adjust it by moving to the right, requesting a higher level, moving to the left, etc. I'll leave it where it is. Go to the next one, number three, silence detection level. And that depends on your environment. If there is a noisy environment, you'll move it to the right as much as necessary. If it's a very quiet environment, you can move the bar uh, much lower to adjust to the proper silence detection level. When I'm done, I will click and get the audio wizard, but now instead of saying next, I will simply hit cancel. I'm back now to the uh, speech recognition setup we started with. I will click on training, which is just below it. As you can see, the training topics numbered 1 to 9, 9 modules. The more modules you go through, the more the speech recognition is improved. Let's go to the next one. Introduction. Welcome. I click on it, go to the OK, and it wants me to read. Welcome! Exclamation mark. You have just reached the training module, period. Before you begin working with this speech recognition program, comma, it is highly recommended to complete this training period. Once you have gone through a few modules, you will see the start processing appearing on the bottom left hand side. Click on it and the system will start processing the input from the speech recognition of that module. You can further go to additional modules or start using the system and the system will recognize your voice. Of course, the more training you provide, the more modules you go through, the better the recognition will be. When you're ready to start using the speech recognition, you activate the microphone right here at the lower left hand side. Scientel Interpreter also translates speech into sign language. The more you train it, the better the translation. Thank you for watching.